children. Today we are going to read a story called Even Fairies Need Glasses. Just like Mrs. Watt. She's a big fairy, isn't she? Let's have a little look. Here she is. She's got her glasses on. Let's find out what happens. Cassie was a fairy who was quite misunderstood. The problem was her eyesight, which wasn't very good. It made her very clumsy, and however hard she tried, the magic spell she cast seemed to cause trouble far and wide. Oh no, she's causing a bit of trouble there, isn't she? Someone's got spots. Oh, somebody pops on the floor. Let's find out what happens next. Cassie needed to wear glasses, but the thought filled her with dread. I'm sure I will be teased, she thought, with those things on my head. On her first day of fairy school, Cassie felt really scared. What if it all goes wrong, she thought. I'm really not prepared. Here she is, Cassie, on her first day at school. Oh, she looks a bit worried. I'm sure she's going to be fine now. Whenever she swished her wand, it went zing, ping and pop. There were bursts, sparks and flashes. Then the teacher cried out, stop. Cassie cried to her fairy friends, you've messed up every spell. She didn't want to tell them that she couldn't see too well. Oh, she didn't, need, didn't mean to mess up the spells then. It was just that she couldn't see very well. Oh dear. The next time Cassie tried, she was desperate not to fail. She meant to make a rainbow, but instead she made it howl. She cast frogs instead of puppies. Her potions all turned green. The teacher thought her magic was the worst she'd ever seen. Oh no. It's a bit like Mrs. What? Oh no, what have you done? Then it was time for flying class. Get ready, the teacher cried. Grab a pinch of fairy dust and spread your wings out wide. Cassie hoped and wished that just this once she might succeed. But she fell splash into a puddle and felt very sad indeed. Oh, poor Cassie. She's not doing very well, is she? Poor Cassie flew away. She gave a sob and a howl. Oh dear, why are you crying? asked a funny owl. Cassie sniffed and said, Without glasses I can't see. I can help, said Owl. Why don't you follow me? Owl showed her lots of glasses, everything from big to small. Round glasses, square glasses, Cassie tried them all. Suddenly she saw that some, that there were some, all that she'd ever dreamed of. They were twinkly and sparkly. They glinted and they gleamed. Oh, I think they would be the glasses for me as well. Special glittery glasses. Oh no, not those. No, not at all. Cassie tried them on and straight away began to stare. After seeing her reflection, she jumped up in the air. I can see, cried Cassie. These new glasses are just right. So she hurried back to school, full to bursting with delight. She is, she's all happy now. She can see where she's going as well. From then on, Cassie's magic went exactly as she planned. She had the perfect glasses and the best spells in the land. Do that one again, the whole class would start to cry as Cassie swished her wand and pretty butterflies flew by. By the end of term, Cassie was top of her classes. She could hardly believe it was all thanks to her new glasses. I'm so happy, said Cassie. Whoever would have guessed that wearing my new spectacles would make my spells the best. And oh, what a happy ending. There she is with her friends. And she's making the best spells ever with all her friends. Thank you.
you for listening today, boys and girls. Is that it?